Hey folks, today we're going to be doing a little special feature, a little something different than normal. Uh, this is a demonstration slash how-to of how I remove deep scratches from video game consoles. So uh, let's get right into things. I use a product called Novus. Novus is a deep scratch remover, you can get it off Amazon, I'll link it in the description, that has a three-stage process. It has a polish, a small scratch remover, and then a big scratch remover. Uh, here. I'm going to be starting with a old scratched up, pretty deep scratches Nintendo Wii and jumping right into the heaviest scratch remover. Um, this product, uh, you see me wearing gloves, it is not good for your skin, so um, I always make sure to protect myself with it. But you can see those deep gashes right across the front of that Wii system um, while I'm doing the repairs. I already washed this off with some soap and water, but that's not, that's not dirt. That is just deep gouges out of the plastic. So you'll see me start to apply just a little bit to the areas where the deepest scratches are. I get my polishing rag here. Um, I have a set of uh, shop rags that I use sometimes, basically cut up old shirts. But luckily for this one, I had some extra leftover ones uh, that can actually came with the Novus. So I start by putting pressure and tiny circles and then into direct angles against the scratches. Uh, and when I say direct angles, I mean if the scratches are going left to right, I go up to down. Uh, it's important to keep the, the rag that you're using uh, saturated with the Novus 3 solution. Remember, this is for the deep scratches. So I'm going to be putting pressure up and down, up and down, uh, pretty strong in order to try to work that polish, that Novus polish, right into those scratches. Now, uh, you'll see me start working on this, but this is not a fast process. I do not recommend this unless you either A, have a system that you're very attached to, or B, really want to get your system looking absolutely amazing before you either sell it off or give it away because this is a uh, let's just say the time effort is not worth the cost of just buying a new <laughs> we shell off of like alibaba or amazon or something like that and replacing itself this is very much a labor of love uh luckily though i do love my console repair so uh i'm doing it the right way now the one thing about Wii consoles in particular that's kind of annoying, but you'll have to deal with this on most of the major consoles, is it has that thin little gap around the corners of it. That means that this this polish will actually get into that gap, and you'll see me throughout this entire process constantly scratching it out of there. The number three polish itself is the only one that needs to be completely removed once done because it's meant for heavy scratches. Again, you'll see me applying some more polish there and that same up and down motion perpendicular to the scratches themselves. And it's always tough to tell on camera, uh, but compared to that first bit, we actually are lessening the appearance of those big scratches. Um, so yeah, this is something um, I'll probably speed it up at this point. And you can see me continuing to apply the number three polish uh, to get those big scratches out of the way. Now at this point, you're actually starting to see a lot of the big scratches have started to disappear. Um, you'll see, see plenty of those uh, small little scratches around the corners, but those big scratches have gotten much less obvious than they were before. So at this point, I'm going to start spot treating a bit more with the Novus number 3, and working it again perpendicular back into these big scratches themselves before I move on to the next step. All right then, at this point, we are just about done with the Novus number three. I'm trying to clean off those seams around the corners. Um, I might do some of that off camera once I'm done as well. Uh, it's a, kind of a painful process getting at all those little nooks and crannies. But at this point, the number three Novus scratch is almost done. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, I still see plenty of scratches. What's going on here? Well, there's actually three steps to this process. If there's one thing you notice, remember that big line of scratches across the beginning that we immediately saw? Those are basically gone. And because of that, the number three Novus did his job and we're moving on to the number two. Number two is the fine scratch remover. Now, this one you apply a whole bunch of right over the entire uh, plastic console itself. Just like your ice in a cake, I guess, or I don't know, putting mustard on a cheeseburger. I don't know. I've got cheeseburgers on the mind, I guess. Anyway, uh, no more food. Back to process. So here I get a new clean cloth. Uh, remember, we had to clean off all of that number three at the end of the last step. So here I wanna use a brand new clean cloth in order to make sure that none of that number three makes its way back on. 
with number two, it's a different color, and we're gonna start by putting small circles around the process. Last time, you remember, it was that perpendicular motion with a lot of pressure. Now it's a medium pressure, um, like just enough that you feel it against your joints, but not a ton. And we're working small little circles across the entire back of the Wii system. Uh, here you can see me just trying to pull it out of a little of those, uh, those holes that come across it. But overall, uh, we can clean that much up later. At this point, it starts to look real pretty, at least in my opinion. Very shiny. You're starting to see less and less of the scratches. Of course, you see the circular smudges. But at this point, we're trying to go through and pull out those last little bit of small little scratches. Now look at that. Doesn't that start to look a little bit prettier? Of course, we're going to get rid of those big swirls before this whole thing is all said and done. But at least in terms of the big scratches that we used to see across the front, it's starting to look less like a damaged Wii and more like one that just had a little bit of wear and tear from normal everyday usage. And a lot of times when I get these Wiis into the shop, they are in absolutely terrible condition. And most people don't mind if your Wii has a couple scratches, unless you're trying to buy it for new. Uh, but most people realize that when you buy a used Wii, it's going to have a little bit of wear and tear. But wear and tear is much easier to stomach if it's a couple of small scratches versus looking like somebody had like a werewolf or like the Wolverine come through and just gouge out the side of your console like this one looks like. Actually, keep an eye out for an upcoming video. We have another black Wii that just came in that looked like it was ran over by an elephant. It's terrible. Uh, that one's going to be a whole bunch of fun to fix up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to buy a new Wii shell, uh, the new plastic case in, but hopefully I'll be able to restore it like this one. We'll see. Anyway, uh, at this point, we're just doing those small little circles. We're exploring it again. And now look at that. Yep, a couple of small little scratches across the front, but look at that reflection. Now that is much, much nicer than it was before. You can even see my recording setup in the top. So we're not perfect yet. We still got more to go, but we're making so much progress compared to where we started off. Okay, and at this point, I'm gonna speed it up again and you can see me continuing to clean the, the surface of this Wii. All right, and we're just about finished with the number two. I could probably do another thing of number two and get out all those scratches, but at this point, it's back to where I would call normal wear and tear. Now look how shiny that is. It's like looking at a mirror. I still got those couple spinny scratches in the middle, but I mean a couple more hits of this and that would get rid of those. I'm not quite gonna go that far because I don't need to, but two thumbs up because that looks fantastic. Now onto the last step here. Uh, Last step is the number three. This step is technically optional, but I don't know. I'll do it. It's the idea is that this last step is more to clean, polish, and shine your uh, your plastics, as well as keep them more protected against scratches in the future. Um, this is more effective, obviously, when you're using it for other types of plastic restoration, like, I don't know, a, a car or a motorcycle or something that gets more daily handling. But uh, we're still gonna do the right thing and make sure we seal this off. So what you see here is actually a brand new clean shop rag. Uh, wrap it around my finger, try to get it nice and tight for cleaning off. Um, I learned that little technique actually from those Japanese shoe shiner videos. Uh, if you haven't seen those before, go check them out. It is just the greatest thing. Anyway, back to, back to this. Um, small circles with very light pressure as I go through and uh, rub in and buff off the number one novice uh, shiner. And you can start to see that beautiful shine coming into there. It's turning this old beat up plastic into what is basically a mirror finish. I actually had to be a little bit careful when editing this thing because uh, when I put it around and I show it around, it shows off a little bit too much of my my apartment and my shop for, for my liking. So uh, you'll see some clever editing throughout this. But anyway, uh, at this point, we are just about finished. We're cleaning off the last little bits. Um, I'll do some off camera work to remove those last tiny bits of um, a polish from the grooves around the corner. And then we're gonna see the final uh, piece of it soon enough. All right, and final product, at least for now. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness, it doesn't even look like the same thing. Now you're still gonna have those little tiny hairline 
scratches inside. You can get those off if you really work at it. But at this point, with that level of shine and, and reflection, we are right in the middle of what a normal Wii would look like after this amount of views. And I would give it a little hello, a little final buff off in order to get any last little bits off. Um, of course, I'll do some more uh, some more cleaning before I put it back together at the end of the day to, to give back. But look at that. It's just those little tiny hairlines now with that beautiful shine. <laughs>